Hey guys, my name is Dave, and welcome to another episode of History Talk, where I talk about a specific icon, idol, group, or figure of the past, um, and talk about how it impacts me personally today. In the process of thinking of what I should do this time, I came across, I was watching some of my own um, past History Talk videos, and I came across Heracles. I was watching that one, and I was like, I know of another one, just from watching that. Person, if you haven't read the title yet for some reason, the person I'm going to be talking about is Hua Mulan. Now, Hua Mulan, many people know the movie Mulan, like the animated Disney film from way back in the day. One thing bothers me about that film, though. It is not very accurate to the actual legend of Hua Mulan. Especially since, first of all, it's not Fa Mulan, it's Hua Mulan. So that actually is kind of... That's one of several aspects that were inaccurate. A lot of people brushed aside the remake, or the live version of Mulan, uh, because it A, didn't have Mushu, B, it was not the original, these several different aspects that, quite frankly, so, the original was for children. The live remake, more for adults who know about the actual legend. In fact, live remake hit a lot of points of the legend on the nose. For those who didn't, who brushed aside it, the live remake in the Disney um, movie at this point. I was going to say a different word, but I forgot the term. Um, here's a little uh, clarification on the real legend of Hua Mulan. Whether this woman was actually real or not, at, at nowadays nobody can really say. But... For the most part, the animated movie is accurate, aside from a couple different things. One, Hamelon does not get married to the prince, or anything like that. In fact, in the legend, Hamelon goes home single and satisfied at the work that had been done. At first declining an offer to be part of the royal guard, but then reconsidering later on. Spending time with her family originally. Her family meant a lot to her, so that's a big thing that actually implemented both versions. The real legend of Huamalan basically goes the same, aside from that one major detail, actually, when you think about it. Now, many people already know the story of Huamalan, especially if you've seen the animated film, Mulan. If you haven't seen the animated film or the live film, I'll rewind and go about it this way. I'm just going to go by the name Mulan, because Hua was basically the title. Mulan um, lived with her family. As the culture went, she was the women were meant to bring honor, the men were meant to go fight in wars and battles. You have to be living under a rock to know where this is going. To not know where this is going, I mean. Mulan's father is very gravely injured, and she doesn't feel at home doing all the feminine things that all the other women are doing. She wants to fight. She wants to be part of this army. However, it was restricted, and only men were allowed to do it. Um, so... At a point, she dressed up like a guy, snuck out with her uh, father's armor and weapons, and left to join. Somehow getting away with it for the most part. Eventually, certain enemies come by, yada yada, classic story tropes. They find out about Mulan being a girl, and 
moment, the entire family, her entire family gets put to shame. Very temporarily, though. Because regardless of what happened, Mulan didn't quite just give up. Mulan knew some things that the army didn't. Told and warned people about it, even if they refused to listen temporarily. But still, because of all the warnings, all the knowledge, and how good she had proven to be at all this kind of stuff, she was accepted into the army for this one thing. And with how much of a good impact in the long haul it had, um, her family brought probably was probably brought one of the biggest honors in that particular legend. Now, I know I'm being kind of vague about it, but it kind of gives off the right idea. Um, now, why would a legend, a legendary figure, someone who could, may or may not have been real, really impact me today? Quite honestly, I love a good story where the female is the main protagonist who shows off how tough and, like, courageous women can be. Hua Mulan was the perfect example that first came to my mind, actually, even after thinking about it for a while, after thinking of the whole Heracles thing. Joan of Arc, another legend, but not exactly proof, can't exactly find realistic proof that she was real. People like that. Um, if you're going off of, I don't know, movies. How about... Oh boy, where do we start? <laughs> Little Women. A classic. Technically, that's based off a book, but if we were to go off of books, I can't believe I'm about to say this, but the only reason is because a lot of people know what I'm talking about when I say it. Twilight. There's another good example, as far as character development and presentation goes. Um, or, if one that's a bit more appreciated, book-wise, The Mortal Instruments. But if we're going off of reality, the way I see it, a lot of women I've come across are pinned to be very vulnerable and very... You know, not very tough, but I've seen so many circumstances where this isn't the case IRL that looking at individuals like this kind of showcases what I mean by that, and it's something that I give much appreciation towards because it shows that, in this case, women... It does go the same for men, but since we are talking about a woman figure right now, I'm going to go over that. Um, women are way more than what they seem sometimes, or what they're showcased to be. Just because of stereotypes and certain tiny pieces of past events. It's upsetting to see how they're treated a lot of the time, but it's also really encouraging to see the motivation that comes in a lot of women because of it. But that's my opinion. It actually lightens my heart to see stuff like that. That's kind of how it impacts me. So it, maybe in a minor way it impacts me specifically, but it's a joyous kind of impact. So, I don't know. These are my thoughts on the matter. Um, what historical figure do you guys have in mind that I could do for this series? Um, it's harder to find ones that I at least know what I'm talking about for, but if you have a suggestion, let me know in the comments below. If you missed any of the episodes in this series so far, click the link on the side of my head where it'll show you that playlist, or if you want to check out any other random video that you guys might enjoy on this channel that isn't quite this particular thing, click the link on the other side. If not, that float your boat. You're more than welcome to check out the channel that has now over 1,200 videos, so you have a large variety if you want to find something that may suit you a bit better. Whether it's skits, if it is this, huzzah, uh, discussion rent videos, comedic gaming, whatever. Vlogs, who knows. One way or the other, I'm going to head off. Thanks again for watching this video, guys, and I hope to see you all in another one. Impeccable timing. <laughs> Bye.